The heavy traffic of a major trunk road returned to Annan for a weekend, more than 20 years after the A75 bypass of the town was completed. The detour was to allow a quarter of a million pound resurfacing project, covering a third of a mile stretch. The diversion was a reminder of the benefits brought by the bypass a generation ago. Most shops reported a reduction in trade over the weekend, despite the fact hundreds of extra people were passing through the town centre. Staff said few were stopping though. So what have you noticed today with the bypass traffic coming through the town? Uh, just a, a constant flow of traffic, um, very hard to cross the street and it's, it shows you how much the bypass, um, you know, how much you appreciate it really. You I don't realise all the cars you know, that do come through. Has it had a, any impact on trade? Um, I would have thought so, yes. The shop has been quieter, the cars are just not stopping, they're just, it's just a constant flow of traffic all the time. Do you remember the road prior to the bypass? I do, yes. Uh -huh. uh, I remember all the, you know, the cars and all that coming through, uh, the amount of lorries. So do you think it's good for the town, the bypass being there? I do, yes, I do. When you see the amount of traffic that's come through today, the big lorries and the cars and the caravans, yes. Parking spaces were scarce for any visitors who wanted to stop on Saturday and hopes of a boost in trade from the diversion appeared not to materialise. Well, it's been busy, but the, the business is quiet, very quiet. It's just a bad time of year. Like, yeah. And uh, have any cars been stopping to no, come into really, the shop? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah. So do you appreciate the bike pass more now, are you? No, really, no. no. Do you, I mean, this is from the fact that you've got this, like, uh -huh. big wagons and that kind of thing, but I mean, it used to be when before, when locals before the bypass come, right? Local, locals would walk because they, they couldn't park their cars. Mm -hmm. You'd get the passing trade. But now when the bypass is there, all well, the locals bring their cars. Mm -hmm. Nobody walks. Uh huh. Yeah, so then you have this kick on effect. It's At times on Saturday, traffic was backed up half a mile to the west of Annan. Today, did you find that this was happening at the weekend? They could have had a traffic warden, two traffic wardens. One at the Fish Cross and one at Bank Street. The traffic could have been flowing much easier. So what's it been like today? It's been as busy as it normally has, so it's not had too much of a major impact on it. The only downside is the fact that it's taken people so long to get into the town without being closed. Have you had any extra customers? Um, yeah, we've had a few that um, from the area came in today. Did they manage to find a parking space? Uh, they never mentioned parking. <laughs> I think that's one of the major yeah. issues we have in the town itself, is parking. So do you remember it before the road was open? I do, yes. Show my age now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember it before it was open, but there was, there's more cars on the road now than there was then. So is it quite nostalgic, uh, the traffic coming through now? It, it is, in a way. It is. It's quite scary how long ago it seems to have been. Contractors worked round the clock and made good progress with the resurfacing project. That left the way open for Annan Town Centre to return from an A road to its more familiar and popular B road levels of traffic.